Tesla and Elon Musk just rolled out a huge upgrade for the Optimus robot. And it's got people seriously questioning how close we are to these machines becoming actually human-like. No joke, this update might finally put an end to all the mocking and sarcasm people used to throw at the Tesla bot, like the, it's walking like Biden, or looks like it's drunk jokes, or the classic, did it just finish leg day at the gym? Yeah, that's all been out there. But now, the Tesla bot's got a serious speed boost and a much smoother walking motion. This latest version is teasing some pretty mind-blowing capabilities that could totally disrupt the industry. And the closer we get to launch day, the more polished Optimus seems to be. By the time it's ready for customers, it might be 99% perfect. Just a couple of minor bugs, just as Elon predicted. So, what exactly does this new Optimus upgrade reveal? Well, there's been one question people keep asking. Why doesn't Optimus walk like a normal human? Why does it always have that awkward bent knee posture, like someone's grandpa trying to cross the living room? Is it really that slow? People have been scratching their heads about this for a while. Some say they wouldn't spend a penny on it, while others think Tesla should scrap the whole robot project and just focus on electric cars. And, to be honest, most humanoid robots out there walk the same way. Awkwardly, slowly, almost like they're doing a weird impression of Joe Biden. It's funny, sure, but we think most people have missed the point. There's actually a reason behind that bent knee stance. It's not just poor design. There's a lot more going on than meets the eye. Sure, at first glance, Optimus's walk looks slow, clumsy, and not super practical for real-world tasks. It's definitely not the fastest. Last year, we learned Optimus could walk at around 1 meter per second, roughly 2.2 miles per hour, on flat ground. But here's the thing, that's not the final speed. Tesla's goal is to get it up to 2.2 meters per second by the time it's ready for release. Right now, Tesla's focused on perfecting Optimus's mobility and improving how it uses its hands. And after all the jokes about how slow and awkward Optimus looks, Elon Musk just dropped a new video showing some significant upgrades. Milan Kovac, the head of the Optimus project, shared on X. Our latest update, straight knees, smoother heel to toe gait, and arms swaying like it's just chilling. So yeah, things are looking a lot smoother. In the video, Optimus is seen walking across a flat factory floor, likely in the testing area at the Fremont plant, and two things really stand out. It's walking style, and the speed it's moving. Let's first talk about the walking style, since that's where the biggest changes are. These two videos show Optimus walking around inside the factory, and as you can see, the way it moves now is completely different from how it looked just over a year ago. Back then, it used to walk with its knees bent, and the whole thing looked kind of awkward. People even joked that the Tesla bot was wearing pants. To be fair, that awkward walk wasn't totally useless. When a robot walks with bent knees, its center of gravity is lower, which helps it stay balanced, especially on uneven surfaces. This kind of movement reduces the chances of tipping over or falling, particularly when it's moving quickly, or making sharp turns. But the thing is, most of us don't like seeing that. We naturally want our humanoid robots to walk like humans, upright, smooth, and confident. It looks like Tesla picked up on this reaction, and spent a lot of time reworking how Optimus walks. Honestly, we were pretty surprised. Now it looks way more relaxed and natural, almost like it's just taking a casual stroll. Exactly like Milan Kovac, head of the Optimus project said, it's just chilling around. But getting it to walk like that? That's no easy feat. The more human-like you want a robot to be, the more complex the engineering has to get. To make Optimus walk with straight legs, its knee and ankle joints can't absorb impact the way they would if it were walking with bent knees. So, Tesla had to make sure the actuators, basically the robot's muscles, are incredibly precise. They have to deliver force smoothly and consistently to the ground. Otherwise, the robot could wobble or lose balance. That's probably why Elon Musk captioned the latest Optimus demo with accurate actuators accelerate automation. Optimus needs powerful motors, of course, but they also have to be lightweight, so they don't throw off its balance while it's moving. Without precise control systems, the robot could end up walking stiffly, jerking around, 
or even falling over. After all, it's not human, it's a machine. And a machine can never fully mimic the human body. We humans are naturally great at staying balanced, thanks to the way our bodies are designed. Our nervous system is what gives us lightning fast reflexes and the ability to coordinate different muscle groups working together seamlessly. But for Tesla Bot, all of this has to be simulated using joints, sensors, and cables running through its body. So, yeah, getting Optimus to move as naturally as it does now is a pretty huge leap forward. Now, let's talk about speed. As we mentioned earlier, Optimus used to walk at about one meter per second, which is kind of slow compared to competitors like Boston Dynamics Atlas and other humanoid robots. But it's clear from Tesla's latest update video that Optimus has gotten faster. We're not exactly sure if the speed boost comes from the improved walking posture or if the robots shed some weight with lighter, more efficient actuators. Tesla hasn't released all the details, but from what we can tell, Optimus seems to be moving at around 1.4 meters per second now. In addition to the updates to Optimus's walking style and speed, there are some other interesting details in the video. One thing that caught our eye was the other robots casually hanging out near chargers in the background. But hold on, there's something odd here. In a video from October, Tesla showed how Optimus recharges itself when the battery gets low. At that point, the LED strip on its head gradually turns orange or red to signal that the battery is running low. At first, we thought it would work like a Tesla car, where you plug it in when the battery gets low. But then, we realized Tesla's aiming for full automation with its products, so charging Optimus like this makes more sense. We can now confidently say, this is the most logical way to charge a robot. When the battery's low, you want the robot in a low power state, which means it should relax its muscles, just like humans do when resting. So, you could either lay the robot flat or hang it up while charging, which is what Tesla has done here. Laying it flat would take up a lot of space, so the most practical solution is to hang the robot up with the charger, allowing it to shut down its motors and electronics while still standing and maintaining balance. In this setup, Optimus can automatically back into the charging area and plug itself in, much like how the Cybertruck will eventually handle automated charging. Let's talk about the charging dock. You might have noticed something strange in the new video. The chargers look different from the wall-mounted ones seen in previous footage. These new chargers seem more like dedicated charging stations designed specifically for Optimus. They appear more convenient and quicker to set up compared to the old wall-mounted chargers. This change likely aligns with Tesla's plan to primarily use Optimus in their factories this year, where efficiency is crucial. Optimus can run for about 8 to 10 hours before needing a recharge, but its battery life depends on what it's doing. If it's moving around a lot, carrying heavy loads, or making frequent movements, the battery will drain faster. However, if it's standing still, or doing tasks that don't require lifting heavy objects, the battery lasts longer. Now, you might think that Optimus would need a huge battery to run for eight hours, but Tesla took a different approach. They equipped Optimus with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, which is relatively small. While it's larger than some other humanoid robots batteries, it's still modest compared to what Tesla could have used, thanks to their extensive battery resources. The reason for this smaller battery? Tesla wanted to keep Optimus lightweight so it could move faster and stay affordable. A larger battery would have made the robot heavier, slower, and more expensive. Instead of opting for a bigger battery to extend its operating time, Tesla chose to use their most advanced battery tech, the 4680 battery. This is Tesla's highest energy density battery, usually found in premium vehicles like the Cybertruck, Thanks to the 4680's powerful energy capacity, Optimus can operate for longer periods without increasing its weight. Currently, Optimus Gen 2 weighs around 138 pounds. The 4680 battery isn't just powerful, it also charges incredibly fast. When paired with the compact 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, it allows Optimus to fully charge in just 10 minutes. For comparison, a Tesla Model Y with an 81 kilowatt hour battery takes around 30 minutes to charge fully. So even though Optimus's battery is 35 times smaller, it charges much faster. In addition to its impressive battery tech, Optimus is also capable of sensing and interacting with its entire environment, 
making it much more versatile in how it operates. Optimus is designed to carry out user commands smoothly and efficiently, particularly thanks to its human-like, five-fingered hands. Each finger has varying lengths, giving Optimus an incredible level of flexibility, something no other humanoid robot offers. When you compare it to the Atlas robot, with its rigid clamp-like hands, the difference is obvious. Imagine Atlas trying to catch a tennis ball the way Optimus does. It would be a hilarious sight. Tesla's real strength, we believe, lies in its ability to design Optimus to mimic human movements as closely as possible. This gives Optimus a major advantage when it comes to tasks requiring fine motor skills and dexterity. Elon Musk has frequently highlighted Optimus's potential, and it's easy to see why. Picture a personal robot companion that's not just a friend, but also a helpful assistant in your everyday life. Imagine a robot that can clean your house, mow the lawn, walk your dog, teach your kids, babysit, and even help in producing goods and services. Looking at the videos and images Tesla has shared of Optimus doing tasks like housework or factory work, it doesn't seem so far-fetched anymore. Now, imagine Optimus as an assistant, a guard, or even a nurse. While that may sound like something from a distant future, we truly believe Optimus could excel in these roles. Here's why. Optimus is equipped with at least eight 2D cameras and cutting-edge sensors similar to Tesla's autopilot system, which allows it to analyze movement, recognize faces, and detect unusual activities. Whether it's day or night, Optimus can stay alert and react to its surroundings. With up to 10 hours of battery life on a single charge, it could easily serve as a reliable night guard for your home. Now picture Optimus in a hospital, clinic, or nursing home. It's fully capable of assisting with patient mobility, performing basic tasks like feeding and dressing, and even monitoring vital signs such as heart rate and blood pressure. It could automatically send updates to doctors or caregivers, making it an invaluable medical assistant for elderly individuals living alone. This vision is truly meaningful, and we can't help but admire Tesla for pursuing it. Instead of worrying about Optimus taking jobs, let's think about how it could enhance lives and help people in ways we haven't even imagined yet. Optimus isn't just about managing schedules, drafting documents, or responding to emails. It can also make your morning coffee, becoming the perfect companion for daily tasks. With Tesla's rapid pace of development, this future is arriving sooner than we think. What makes Optimus stand out is that it doesn't require programming each line of code like traditional automation systems. Instead, it uses technology similar to Tesla's autopilot, gathering images and videos to understand its environment and figuring out how to carry out tasks on its own. While Optimus is more complex than a self-driving car, thanks to its extra joints and degrees of freedom, the consequences of an error are much less severe. If it fails to pick up an object, the worst case scenario is dropping it, while a driving mistake could result in a serious accident. That's a major difference. But if Tesla can reach the level of accuracy seen in the Cybertruck's self-driving data, Optimus is likely to achieve even greater precision, especially in dynamic manufacturing environments where conditions are constantly changing. Setting up a traditional automation system for a task might take months, but with Optimus, that task can be handled much faster and without the technical costs associated with reprogramming. That's why Tesla will prioritize Optimus for internal use before selling it to customers. Optimus offers a huge advantage because it can learn and adapt to tasks without needing constant reprogramming by engineers. This not only saves time and money, but also makes it possible to automate tasks that were previously too expensive or impractical to tackle with traditional robots. Tesla could deploy Optimus to handle various tasks on the production line, like arranging battery cells, cleaning the factory, and much more. Tesla is clearly eager to start full-scale production of Optimus. At the recent Q1 2025 All Hands meeting, CEO Elon Musk shared that the Fremont factory has already produced the first humanoid robot from the Optimus production line. Tesla aims to have enough components to produce between 10,000 and 12,000 Optimus robots this year, and Musk is optimistic they'll produce at least 5,000 robots in 2025. Many people worry that AI will take their jobs, but in reality, AI is a tool designed to help us work faster and more efficiently. 
The value you create determines your pay, and AI is simply another tool that enhances your abilities. By understanding AI and knowing how to apply it, you can increase efficiency significantly. While Optimus might replace some manual labor jobs, it also creates new career opportunities in AI, robotics, engineering, and automation. Humans will still play an essential role in designing, programming, maintaining, and optimizing these robots. Some critics argue that humanoid robots aren't practical for industry and that simpler machines should do the work. While that may have been true in the past, in an ever-evolving world and industry, automation is a major breakthrough that can improve human life. It's no coincidence that the world's top tech companies are investing in humanoid robots. They're not wasting time or resources. Why would someone like Elon Musk invest so heavily in this? The answer is simple. No one becomes the richest person in the world by being foolish. Every billionaire has a vision and mindset that goes beyond what most people see. Optimus has the potential to generate massive returns with a price range of $2,000 to $30,000. As Elon Musk has often said, the Tesla bot is a solid investment. Did you know that an Optimus robot could save businesses at least $155,000 per year compared to hiring human labor? For households, the savings from domestic help could reach up to $6,000 per year. Just think about how much that money could change your life. Everything that once seemed like science fiction is happening faster than ever turning concepts from sci-fi movies into reality. And Tesla is at the forefront of making it all happen. 